All I can say is fuck yeah. This game is the reason that every time I play Super Smash Bros, I am Captain Falcon. Yes, I make my character bright pink and name him gay, but still. This reason, this is the reason I play as Captain Falcon. That and Mega Man's not in Super Smash Bros. Once Mega Man's there, I will be playing as him forever. But that, that's a sorry for a different day. So, um, yeah. This will probably just be in a complication of my favorite games ever. Of the old days, back where games were actually fun. Oh god, the frame rate. Oh. The audio. Okay. Okay, I might not be able to record this because my computer's being a piece of junk. Now, what were the damn controls? There we go. Okay, never mind, this isn't fun. Yeah, this is fun. I just hope it records alright. Okay, Mute City. The biggest fuck yeah moment of my life. Just the song, the map, everything about it. two reasons why I'm this silent, and those would be, one, I'm extremely tired, and two, I am focused. Ugh, frame rate, stop killing yourself. Easily. This game just brings back memories of, mm, of being in the back of the class on my laptop. Because I was that badass. Um, anyways. Mute City, fuck yeah. What a nostalgic game. Just a game that everybody should love and cherish in their life and our hurries. I mean, it's just like a really great game. From the soundtrack to the gameplay to just what it evolved into. It is amazing. Now, what 
out where the control Again, new city. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just my ah, uh, you know it's hard for me to say my favorite retro great game music. It's probably a tie between F Zero's Mute City and Mega Man X's Intro Level, and the fact that I cannot share worth the shit in this game. But oh well, it is still a fun game whether you can drive or not. Just being in a hover car listening to my, at my Titan first favorite Nintendo Kitten song, it just. it does get better than that. Even if you can't drive. Man, I like number. I like uh, F Zero X better. But I just realized my favorite Mega Man, Mega Man X, my favorite F Zero, F Zero X. I just like X's, I guess. If, if I could recommend anything to any one of you out there, it's that you should go get a freaking emulator and emulate these games I'm playing. Most of them are rather good games. I'm sure this may not look like the best game, but that's probably because you're one of those graphic-induced modern gamer people. It's not about graphics. It's about how it makes you feel on the inside. And I am proving that today with all the games I play and put into this complication. Anyways, yeah, this is a pretty straightforward game. I'm probably going to come in a very bad place. But I don't care because I enjoy this song. Uh, just the old graphics. It just blinds me with beauty. So I'm honestly not too big on the new fancy graphics. It kind of hurts my eyes half the time. But this is just so plain and innocent, I loved it. And yep, a horrible place. Show. I'm doing this because I am in love with the color pink. <laughs> straightest, I mean, um, straightest man alive, or is it gayest heterosexual alive? Doesn't matter. Winner. Yep, my frame rate hates this game. Or I should say the recording. And I can doesn't like a lot of games. I should probably get better recording, but that takes too long. So yeah, this is a pretty straightforward game. But then again, what game wasn't that was from Super Nintendo or N64? Pretty much just beating up goons in interesting outfits. While you're wearing an obvious 80s outfit. 
which honestly look a lot better than most outfits nowadays because of swag. And I don't even like those high waist shorts or anything. So it looks better than swag though. And if you like any of the games I play in this video, just tell me and I'll continue them like in a full playthrough. Because I'm really just doing little clips of each. Oh yeah, this bugger. Yes, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers pterodactyl woman now, that now looks like a man. It's crazy how a woman just magically became a man pterodactyl thing. With a bow as a blade. Because she's that freaking badass. Oh yeah, that's how you use that power. The pterodactyl power I just wasted. <laughs> Oh, my frame rate is dead. Anyways, I, I just love the soundtrack for this game and everything. It's just one of those games that I love with my dearest heart. It just made me happy. And I like being happy. It makes me happy. Being happy makes me happy. And what makes me happy is being happy. And heavy metal. Heavy metal also makes me happy. I like heavy metal. Heavy metal makes me extra happy. It's my happy music. And it's the mind pissed off my mother music. But I like it that way. Um, with how bad my frame rate is, I think that should be enough for Power Rangers. Snowboard Kids 2. Snowboard Kids? I remember back when you could rent this game and other N64 games. I look back at those days and feel old. Even though I'm young, it makes me feel old. Just, this game made me. Oh, so very happy. It made me feel really good about myself playing it. And now I emulate it to get back that feeling. Of playing as this chick. For whatever reason, I used to play as her all the time when I was like four. And now I realize all the characters have abnormally large noses. Enough for me. Hmm. Well, oh, okay, I just right. I have a feeling my frame rate isn't gonna cooperate on this one. <laughs> nope. Please work. Oh, frame rate. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, I need a better computer. Or a better CPU card. One of the above will do.
so virtually that it gives me a headache. Okay, well you get the point, you go on the left and then you basically go again.